All right. Uh, so we'll go with formulating an equation of a hyperbola given these two points. We don't know what it's going to look like just yet, but we're going to use this general formula to, to do it. Um, and so similar to the exponential one, okay, I'm going to plug in, um, I'm going to plug in xy and xy into my general form up there, and I'm just going to see what happens. So just, just equation one, check this out. Equation one, I'll use this one. This is x, this is y. So I'm going to say 4 equals a over 4 plus c. Can't really do anything there yet. Okay. My second equation um, is using this coordinate, and I get um, 5 equals a over uh, 6 um, plus c. Now, right now, I've got simultaneous equations. I've got two equations with two different variables. And algebra can handle that perfectly. Algebra can handle two equations, two variables. So how I solve this is I'm, I'm, I'm going to get A by itself for both of these, and then I'm going to set them equal to each other to solve. So I'm going to get A by itself from both of these. I'm not going to solve for A. I'm just going to get A by itself. So that's 4 minus C equals A over 4. Okay, I could do it over here too. 5 minus c equals a over 6. Okay? So get a by itself, which means multiply this whole equation by 4, which means 4 brackets, 4 minus c equals a. Okay? And then I get a by itself over here. Multiply this whole thing by 6, and I get a. Okay? So the rules of algebra say if I have two equations equaling the same thing, I can set those two equations equal to each other. Okay, um, so what's next? The only thing I can do to clean this up is expand. So I say 16 minus 4c equals a, 30 minus 6c equals a. And at this point, if you think, oh my gosh, this is a lot of work, it is, it is a lot of work. You know, this, this, step, this, this one is quite complex. So now, when these two are equaling the same thing, uh, that means I can both set them equal to each other and solve for C. If this equals A and this equals A, then this equals this. <laughs> so I get 16 minus 4C equals 30 minus 6C. If you have a graphics calculator, you can solve it right away. All right, so you get a little bonus there if you have a graphics calculator. If you don't, you just have to do it the old-fashioned way. It's a linear equation, uh, plus 6C plus 6c. Uh, Mr. Riccardi usually likes to keep the variable term positive because it's just a bit cleaner that way. So I get 16 plus um, 2c equals uh, 30. Subtract 16 from both sides and I get running out of space. I get 14. 2c equals 14 and finally I get c equals 7. Okay, so I'm just going to stop right there. And that's a lot of work. Okay, well the good thing is once you do all that, you got what that you got the seeds, you got the vertical shift. Vertical shift is seven. Okay, the asymptote is going to be seven. Okay, cool. The good thing with that is you can plug that into either one, and it's quite easy to solve for a. That's quite quite an easy step to solve for a because I already have an equation set to a by itself um, all right so i go all right well um, 30 minus 6 times 7 is going to equal a so 30 minus 42 equals a i think a gives me negative 12. It gives me negative 12. and just like we've been doing once i get my key features of that graph i rewrite my equation Okay, and here's my general form. So I've got uh, y equals negative 12 over x plus 7. Right? And that is the true equation that goes through those two points. Is there another hyperbola? Sure, there is. But that means that um, I'm going to have... My uh, asymptote is going to go through. It's going to go through uh, seven, and then 
for, for, you know, for the purpose, we're finished. We got the equation, we're done. But to see what it looks like, um, A is negative. So that means it's gonna be in these two quadrants. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like this. And it's gonna be like that. And I did not expect that. I expected this curve to kind of go the other way, um, but it's not, okay? So as far as the ones we've done, getting an equation between two points using a hyperbola, that's probably the most work, okay? So we, yeah, that's good, let's call it, good job.